heavyweight champion. They all go yay! Piper! Next Saturday night, I want a title match right here in Portland, and I want to win my championship back. Then after I win my championship back, Ronnie Piper, these people all scream yay about you winning the title. Do they scream yay about you taking a loser lead down with the player? They don't believe in you. They don't think you can beat me. That's why they go boo. See? They don't believe in you, Piper. They believe in me. I want a loser lead town with Ronnie Piper at the soonest possible day. I asked for one in Salem. I don't care. I want one in Portland. I want a loser lead town with you, Piper. Give it to me, brother. I want my title next Saturday, a title match, and I'm going to win that too. A Playboy Buddy Rose challenging for the title match. Next Saturday. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Roddy Piper, the heavyweight champion of the Pacific Northwest. Thank you very much. I'd like to say that uh, I just uh, had to rest for a while there, you know, but uh, uh, it was worth the rest because uh, Wiskowski is gone and, uh, and it was worth the effort. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, I'm the champion, and, I, and I'm proud to be the champion. And and and, uh, and but old Buddy Rose has been coming out here, uh, bra bragging, talk, talking about me, saying all kinds of nasty things. I was watching the tape, talking about my zits and and stuff like that. Man, he must really he must really think that there's nothing wrong with you, Rose. You know, you must he must think he's really got it all together. He calls himself the Playboy. He calls himself the Playboy because the guy because the geek goes and he takes one takes one of uh, the date, one of those inflatable dolls and blows it up and dances around his bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Dances around his bedroom like a geek. The other day, the other day, he was dancing with his doll, stuck his head out the window. A policeman looked up, charged him with mooning. This ugly sucker. He's gonna take you, and he's talking to me. He thinks he's really got something on the ball here. He really thinks, he really thinks that all these women are chasing him. And I, and I, I don't know why he thinks all these, all these ladies are chasing him. And it's, it's not his body. And it's not, I don't, the other day, the other day, Buddy Rose was, was got out of bed and, and put, put his underwear on. And, and, and the fruit of the loom guy fell over laughing. So that ain't it. <laughs> so listen to me, Buddy Rose. I want to say something real serious to you, Buddy Rose. You've been talking about title matches. You've been talking about title matches. You've been talking about loser leave town. Well, let me tell you something, fool. I remember when we had haircut matches here. And all the time you were saying, Don Owens, please give me a hair match with Roddy Piper. Anybody, Don Owens, and all the time Roddy Piper was saying no. But listen to me, brother. I'm going to fill you in on a few facts here. All the time back here, I was saying yes. All the time back here, I was conning you. And you went ahead and you pushed Luke ahead. And I knew I could beat Luke, you see. And, and, and then when you went ahead and you pushed Butch, because I wouldn't take one with you, and, and I wasn't sure if I could beat Butch, but, but I was willing to give it a try, and by the time I got to you, brother, you were so afraid of me, man, your boots were shaking, your knees were shaking, you got inside the cage. And I had your whoops, I had your whoops, so listen to me, brother. You want a loser lead town match, and you want title matches. Well, if you want a loser lead town match, since I'm the champion, since I'm the champion, maybe, maybe you'll get your loser lead town match. But it'll be when I say, it'll be when I got the biscuits, brother. It won't be now. It won't be now. I feel like, listen, but one thing for sure, one thing for sure, there ain't enough room here in Portland for, for, for two of us in this town. I feel like John Wayne. I feel like there ain't enough room in this town for all of us. But let me tell you something, Rose. I'm going to make John Wayne look like Benji, brother, when it's my turn. And if you take this loser lead town match, when I suggest it, take heed, brother, because it's satisfaction guaranteed. Roddy Pat. Such is the case. And Buddy Rose has flowers. I don't know if he grabbed them from somebody or somebody actually gave him the flowers. But he got them.
Here's Don Owen. Let's listen. Next Saturday night, Playboy Rose will meet Roddy Piper for the Northwest Heavyweight Championship here in this arena. And at this time, I'd like to introduce a relay team match of S2S, two, two falls out of three to our TV time limit. Introducing in this corner, the team of Playboy Buddy Rose and Rip Oliver. Their opponents in this corner, the duly formed team of Roddy Piper and Mike Popovich. And also, I'd like to dedicate this bout to two of the greatest wrestling fans in Central Oregon, Carl and Minnie Nabali. Carl and Minnie over in Central Oregon. I have a bout dedicated to them by Don Owen. And under the assumption that Don, with uh, all the things that he's got happening here on a Saturday night, simply forgot about it, I am going to hope that things haven't changed and tell you that Jay Youngblood is coming back to Portland and the Northwest. Jay Youngblood. He and Rick Steamboat recently held the World Tag Team Championship for some time. I believe that uh, they've been to throw now at any rate Jay Youngblood, a very popular Jay Youngblood returning to the Northwest. Should be here uh, early part of October sometime. Ship going. They tried their little posing. Rip Oliver and the Playboy. I'm talking about the new boots being worn by. Uh, <laughs> Roddy Roddy Piper. Piper said something about the boots and then got it in his mouth. A drop kick by Piper sent him sailing. Piper and Popovich. Buddy Rose and Rip Oliver teaming up. And Rose says to Oliver, oh, go ahead, you take him. Don Owen talking in a lot of uh, noise there, announced that the match has been made. Piper against Rose next Saturday for the title. Not a loser leave town. At least that is the information sent up to us. It is a title bout. You heard Piper talking about he would make the decision. If he accepted a loser leave town, he would say when. Oliver says, how about it? Pretty strong, huh? So as we said, get your tickets early for that one. The last five times Rose and Piper have met in Portland, it's been a sellout crowd. Popovich brought in. Rowdy saying, hey, this guy is strong. I think I'll bring in the muscle. A lock up. Front headlock. Grabbed by Oliver on Popovich. Popovich lifts him in the air and drops him like a sack of grain. Former collegiate football player, University of Oregon, high school All-American. Out at, what was it, Milwaukee or Gresham?
Paul Nelson by Oliver. The Portland Muscle Man, Iron Mike Popovich, trying to just come out of it with strength alone. Grinding down and does it. Bobovich with a super build. Top wrist lock. Oliver grabbed it. Now Bobovich trying to come up with a reversal on it. They are about up on top, meaning all even at throws. Oliver. Sandy Barr. Is complained to by first Buddy Rose and then Oliver said he pulled in here. Sandy goes over and does the obligatory asking and warning. Rip Oliver, Mike Popovich. Popovich blocking Oliver from Lifting him for the body slam. He reverses. He lifts Oliver easily. Rose and Piper are going to have that match. Championship match. 289-4222 is the number to call tomorrow. Or come out to Sandy Bar's flea market. Get your tickets. Behind the concession stand. Go over to the concession stand. They'll sell you tickets. Four weeks from tonight. Arm drag slam. And another on Rose. By Popovich. A few weeks ago, Popovich training in this ring during the week. Nobody else here except the other people in that Sandy Bar training school. Whoop! Rolls hard into the far neutral corner. Popovich and Piper. And a rowdy one and Iron Mike. Five they lock up. On. Five minutes. Each man going for the side headlock. Rose takes him into his corner. Sandy Barr right there to watch it. Popovich backs up and cracked their heads together. Both quarters, and I tell you, this has got to be the most experienced rookie that I've ever seen. And by that, I mean he is just taken to it. I know for a fact he has his quite a bit of amateur experience but I'll tell you there is a lot different ball game in that pro wrestling ring and this young man is learning it fast and quite frankly was trained very well Popovich coming in showing great deal of experience in a short period of time Piper inviting Rose in he tagged out Oliver came in it's Oliver in against the Scotsman. Rowdy Rowdy belts him on, takes him into the turnbuckle. Rowdy Rowdy Piper. And he's pulling some of the old tricks out of the bag. And Rowdy Rowdy had this many people booing him as they are now cheering him. Double knee lift. Body press one. Two, flail kick. Right, he almost had it. Side headlock on Oliver. Catch him on right to the point of the nose. Judo chop drops Oliver. Piper covering him with a pin. Oliver's able to kick his way out of it. Arm bar. Piper working on Oliver. Rip Oliver, the Playboy's latest partner. Armbar 
Piper. Rose is chased out by the referee. Popovich jumps in. Piper jumps out. Taking a trip, trick from the book of Buddy Rose and using it on him. Rose again being chased out again without a tag. Popovich and Piper switch. Sandy Barr says, yeah, I can reach from here. So they have to assume they tag. Reverse hammerlock, Piper on Oliver, down on the map. Working on the left arm, Rip Oliver. The center reverse hammerlock, now up in the air and dropping down with it. A knee right between the shoulder and the elbow, now the arm bars. Oliver makes his way to his feet. Oliver catches, throws a couple of shots on Piper. In on the tag, Popovich and goes right back to that arm bar, working on the left arm. With the arm bar, Mike Popovich. Arm extended, arm drag, slam down to the canvas. And work in the wing lock. Popovich. With the wing lock. Catches one between the shoulder blades. First one at the base of the head. Buddy Rose is in. Buddy at Popovich. Arm drag slam. Another one. And the tag to Piper, and Piper gets Rose in the ring. This is what Rose does not want. Oh, every time these two get together in the ring, oh, fire just flies. Over the top rope with the arm. Ten minutes on. Arm Ten bar. Piper on. turns it over one time, turns it over again. Now pulls on it. And again. Three. Four. And Rose has given up. Rose submitted. Now don't go away, we're going to review where there's action coming up in this next week. The first and all of these the fellas of in this main Roddy event are Roddy not either. Piper. Roddy Roddy Mike Piper, Popovich. Mike Popovich. They win the first ball, Buddy Rose submits. Jerking on that left arm and he had to give it up. The first time he got in the ring with Piper, Piper forces him into his submission. Whew. And I'll tell you, that's the kind of electricity we're going to have when they get together a week from tonight. A championship match has been made. Here in a moment, we're going to run down the towns where wrestling is. So if you got a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, get it there in front of you. Get ready to write down because we're telling you where the action is, where it's coming up. Super things are happening such as up the valley, up the Columbia River tomorrow in Hermiston, Oregon. Wednesday, Seattle, the big shootout. Boyd's going to get, Boyd is going to get you, baby. Thursday, Salem, the Grand Theater. You're in the main event. You got, you reaped what you sowed, baby. It's coming back to you. Friday, Eugene, Saturday, Portland, Sunday in Tacoma. And listen to me carefully. You busted the leg, it's cost me $3,000. you are happy, aren't you? You never know, buddy. Like I said, you reap what you sow. You never know when I'm going to come up behind you and put your lights out and send you to the hospital. You never know. 
Kamar Hermanson. It can be up in Tacoma, Salem. You never know, Frank. I'll tell you this. I tell you this, Rose, and I swear on my mother, and I'm a born again Christian. I'm a Baptist now. I'm going to be at the Baptist Church tomorrow, Five Corners and Orchard. We're all going to be praying for your well-being, buddy, because you're going to end up in a hospital. We might, we might add one more thing. Don Owen is going to announce it, but somebody else that Buddy might remember is going to be coming back to town in three or four weeks if he's still here. Jay Youngblood is returning to the Northwest. Once again, once again, it's Tom and I. They're trying to pull it. Oliver wants to start for his team. And the rules of tag team wrestling, Australian tag team wrestling, the official rules call for the man who finished the preceding fall to start the next fall. Rose, Rose, Rose is the cry that is getting started. Piper says, get Rose in here. And that is it. They'll have to submit to a fall. If they don't, and finally does, they tag, and no, the rules say there has to be physical contact between the two opponents. Rose says, all right, all right. Now let's see if he tries to get a, a quick touch in on Piper and then move over to tag out. Well, he's not going at it that way. He's getting himself back into a corner. Taken into the corner. Piper blocks the turnbuckle treatment and gives it to the playboy. Here he goes for the armbar again. Popovich coming off the ropes. Leapfrog. And a seat drop. Right on that arm. The left arm of Buddy Rose. And of course, one of the many whose left arm he injured in the past, Jay Youngblood. Coming back, could be coming back to Hunt Rose. The armbar. Buddy Rose in the clutches of Mike Popovich. Popovich teaming with Piper. A judo chop. Popovich just took it and ground down harder on the hold. Got the armbar. Rose breaks in the eyes. Popovich greets. Popovich greeting Oliver as he comes in. Bouncing him. Off the mat. Arm drag. Slam to the mat. Popovich on Oliver. Mike Popovich of Portland. The native son played football in the University of Oregon Ducks. The Ducks, incidentally, I think they're on a whale of a job against a great Stanford team on Saturday. Our congratulations to Rich Brooks and the Ducks. Was pretty exciting there in that fourth quarter for a while. The tag, Popovich out, Piper in. And Oliver being taken down to the canvas in the arm bar, now switching it to a hammerlock. <laughs> Little double teaming by Popovich and Piper. They get a stop or two in before they tag out. Now Rose is going crazy. And this is probably one of his favorite tricks. And they're on the fly. Tag in, tag out. Foot stop, grab the hold.
15 minutes gone. 15. Popovich with a hammer lock. The first fall of this match has been one fall. And that was like a thumb up into the ribs. Popovich taking over into the corner. Oliver tags out. Rose comes in on Popovich. First fall at the Piper and Popovich. Roddy got a submission out of Buddy Rose. They're signed for a title bout. Piper putting his title on the line a week from tonight. Tickets available, 289-42-22 tomorrow. Or the best ways to come out to Sandy Bar's flea market tomorrow. Change without a tag. Sandy Bar had other business to attend to, didn't see it. Ticket sales for next Saturday at the flea market tomorrow are at the concession stand here at the sports arena. Coming out of it, turning out of it, Popovich. He's pulled into the ropes by Rose. Here comes Piper. Piper and Oliver going at it. And Oliver's got a lot, a lot of tape on that wrist and thumb. They are double teaming on Popovich. The hammer lock on Popovich, and he's taken into the top turnbuckle. A far neutral corner. Picked up. Shoulder breaker coming up. One, two, and this match is all even. The match is all even. And after the pin. Piper is covering Popovich, trying to protect him, especially that shoulder, the right shoulder. It's a shoulder breaker. It's all even at a fall apiece. And I was trying to say unless he DQs Oliver the winners and Rose, but they stopped their extracurricular activity. And Playboy, Buddy Rose. So our main event is all even at a fall apiece. I don't think you'll be going anywhere. And we will be coming back after we take this commercial timeout. Needing a little introduction, if any, the Lord Jonathan Boyd. Well, thank you very much. It's always uh, nice to know that you're welcome. But the only person I think is not welcome here in the Northwest is Buddy Rose and his animals he calls his army. Rose, I think you're going to be biting off a lot more than you choose, my friend. Because you've got a lot of people mad, and it's not only the fans, it's the bloody wrestlers. And I'm one of the wrestlers that are getting a little bit madder each time. All right, tonight, after the TV's over, I'm going to take care of your Cuban, and then I'm going to go after this Rick Oliver, and then I'm coming after you, lad, because you don't have any more corners to hide in. The more you run, the less I'm gonna, oh boy, I'll tell you what, sometimes, Frank, sometimes I look around at wrestling and I look around at the wrestlers and when I first started wrestling, wrestlers faced one another man to man. Rose, I never had an army. I've never had an army in my life. I've had, I had a partner once and we became the world's champions. If I had a partner now, I'm sure I could do it again. But you have bit off too much this time. You've got Piper, I'm so mad at you, that he would even start to consider a loser leave power match, which I don't advise matches like that because I don't like them myself. Because I think they're stupid. But Rose, I'm gonna be coming after you. I'm gonna take care of your army. And I'm gonna start to build an army myself. And my army just may consist of Popovich and the best one of them all, Roddy Piper. So stick around, Rose, and don't make any more.
your stipulations because if you go with a loser leaves town match with me or Popovich or Piper, you're gonna lose. And you've got the golden calf too well up here to leave the Northwest. So don't be stupid, Rose. Stick around because I want to shove these down your throat. Well, Lord, Jonathan. Minute or so ago. Coming out and still favoring that left shoulder. They got some stomping on that. Going to work on that left shoulder. And do the turnbuckle, Popovich. Well, we've got considerable time here. <laughs> I tell you, that has to be the wildest I have ever seen. In a lot of years, 14 years to be exact, 14 years this fall that I have been doing uh, wrestling, the big time wrestling has been on, and I don't believe, well, there have been a few moments. They got to go back to Lonnie Main, Matt Dog, Vachon, Tony Bourne. There have been some wild moments. This equals any that I have ever seen. If didn't top it. You heard Rose, if you didn't, one of the things he was yelling about was that if anybody could remove the mask, that he would leave it off. He was saying that, he said, because he was unbeatable. Well, you saw it. Piper came up, removed the mask. We saw short growth of dark hair. And now the challenge is for him to leave it off. Okay, a week from tonight, he meets him in a super match. I'll tell you what, I'll get that ring next to me. I won't have the mask on, but I'll tell you what, Piper, that's it. We're gonna get a loser lead down in Portland, and I'm gonna run you out, and I'm gonna be the man of the Northwest. My partner and I did it tonight. We won together. That was the dirtiest thing I've ever seen before in my life. Come out here and smash his mask off. I hear him TV in front of everyone. What do you mean? You people will see Roddy Piper lose his championship. And then you're all going to see Piper Lee. I keep repeating myself because that's all that's in my heart. It's in my heart. It's in his heart. We're going to the top. We're staying at the top. Nobody's going to take care of me. And nobody's going to take care of all of us. And nobody's taking care of Cortez. That's right. There ain't nobody going to come in and do the uh, things they've done to him. To come in here and pull his mask off like that. That's humiliating. I'll tell you what. I'll watch his back. And I know... He could do the job if he don't have some deep like that. I'm gonna tell you something there. about you, Piper. Piper, you do got a lot of pimples. I'll tell you something about it. He was in the library the other day, and he fell asleep reading the book. He woke up and a blind man was reading his face. That's how bad he is. His complexion. You're so ugly, Piper. That if you look under the word "ugly" in the dictionary, you'll see your picture. Piper, I'm gonna rub it in every way I can. You're going down, baby. You're going down, Piper. It's coming down to you and I, brother. Who's going to stay? Who's going to leave? I asked for a loose lead down in Salem, but I want one right now in Portland. First of all, send the loser lead down, brother. It's going to happen. What about Hermiston, Vancouver, Seattle? You're going to have the mask off, like you said? I said in Portland, didn't I? Can I just stay in Portland? Just in Portland. Well, with that, we're out of time. I guess you'll have to show up and see whether we're where it's it or not. Frank Bonham here. Thanks a lot for tuning in. See you next week on the tube. If you're not out here in person, I'm going to be.